Hey guys, so today I did a chit chat get ready with me because there have been a lot of new updates going on such as online school which I know a bunch of you guys have been asking me so I decided to address it in this video. So if you guys like my videos and want to join the fam be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there or you guys can click right here to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos that I put out twice a week. So let's get right on into the video. I look so dead and so bad especially with my hair like this. Can we just take a minute? So I'm first gonna start with foundation and now I have been tanning like in tanning beds. I know, don't kill me. But um, I know all the, I literally did research forever and I still decided that I wanted it. Um, but anyway, um, I want to be tan, okay? And I don't tan naturally by the sun and then I self tanner, she's streaky and orange on me so I'm just not a fan of it. But anyway, I am like a weird mixture of foundations right now. So I'm taking the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup and I'm going tanning after this so I needed foundation that didn't have SPF in it and this was the only kind that didn't have SPF in it. So this is in 30 buff and 60 natural beige and I'm just going to mix them together because this one's really pink and this one's really yellow when I need like a shade in between that if you guys are catching at all what I'm saying. And I like curled my hair for the first time in like ages today. So I obviously know why you guys are here because of the title. Um, yes, I started online school for multiple reasons. One of them, well the main, the, the main reason being that I miss a lot, a lot of school from YouTube. And I was always one of those people that was like, I'm never gonna do online school. Like I can definitely handle both YouTube and school. Um, it's something that I just never am interested in doing, like all this sort of stuff. But the more and more I got into YouTube and the more and more I realized that I really like YouTube, the less I started caring about school. And it really started to show, like my grades dropped, um, I just became a really grumpy person having to go to school every day. It just honestly, going to school every day just turned me into a really horrible, just terrible person. And it just wasn't what I wanted to be as a person and it was just some, it just made me someone that I just wasn't happy being because I was just forced to go and I just had to interact with people that didn't like me or I didn't like and I would they would just say things about my YouTube and it just was just this big deal like people thought that I thought higher of myself because I make YouTube videos which I don't um, just like all this stuff that I just never thought would ever happen to me because I was like I can always balance school and YouTube like it's never gonna be an issue because YouTube is just a hobby but the more it started taking over my life and the more it became my number one priority, the less of school I liked and the worse of a person school made me. And I know that sounds weird, but honestly, when you're in an environment that you just don't like, you just kind of, you get the life sucked out of you basically. And it's just, it's a bad combination and bad situation, especially when you only want to be doing this one thing, which is YouTube, and you have to do this other thing for a certain amount of hours a day and then go back and continue it at night and just do homework and have to interact with people that aren't always positive and they don't support you and they're just negative and they bring you down. Just like all this stuff, there's just so many reasons why I did online school. The biggest is just because I just was this person that I just wasn't happy with. I wanted to focus a lot on YouTube and I really only cared about YouTube. Now I have more flexibility and I can do school and YouTube but have YouTube be my main priority but still finish school. I'm in 11th grade so I just switched to the fourth quarter for online school and then I'm probably gonna do senior year online if I like online school um, for next year because I plan on moving to LA this summer so you know, all that stuff. So that's why I'm doing online school. If you guys have questions about it or want me to do like a public school versus online school video, let me know in the comments that I can do that. I'm probably going to do it like at the beginning of next school year because I need to obviously do online school first. Um, but that's why I switched to online school. Um, a lot of you guys guessed it and if you guys followed my Twitter you also knew that but that's why I'm doing online school. Moving on to concealer. I'm just going to conceal under my eyes real fast and I'm just going to do this real quick because I just for a long time. Alrighty, so once that's all on, I literally look like a different person with face makeup on. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting, I mean secret powder, and I'm going to set my under eyes with this. And I use this with a beauty blender. And since I started using this powder with a dampened beauty blender, it lasts, like it lasted a really long time before, but I feel like it just sticks for so long. And like it, I feel like it brightens it times three. 
So I really, really love using it with a sponge instead of a brush. I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows real quick, and I have an eyebrow routine, so I'm going to link that down below. And then we're gonna move right along to the star of the show, the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so now that the brows are on, I'm gonna go in and prime my eye, and I'm gonna be using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot instead of Painterly, because with this palette, I'm gonna be using lighter shades on the lid, and this paint pot really gravitates towards lighter shades and really just grabs them and like keeps them on. So that's why I'm putting this on. I have a question for you guys. Does it sound like I have an accent? Because like whenever I watch like Australian or British YouTubers and New Zealand YouTubers, um, I'm always like, oh my God, they have such an accent. And like in accent challenges, everyone's always like an American accent. But like, I feel like an American accent means turn off any accent you have and just talk plain with absolutely no change to any words or anything like that. Like it's just like a plain accent with no words that change, no sounds change. It's just like the boring, nothing is there. There's like the Southern accent, California accent, like Philly accent even, and I don't have that. Like I don't have any accent it seems like so I just want to know do you guys think I have an accent because I want one all right so now we're gonna go in with the star of the show this is the poppy picnic palette by Tarte they sent this to me the other day and I was so excited to try it out guys you don't know I haven't used it yet I'm so excited so I'm first just going to be boring and take this skin tone shade and just put that all over. Um, all right, let's do a little bit of layering. So I'm gonna take a 217 and this shade right here. And let's put that in the crease to begin with and then that'll go up pretty high. It's really peachy, I didn't think it was that peachy. Whatever, I'm still gonna go with it. You guys know that I also like tried to dye my hair blonde and it looked orange. And then I dyed it back to brown, but I really, really want it blonde again. For like the past like year and a half, I've been saying how blonde I want my hair. And I wanted silver with dark roots, but now I just want like straight up platinum with dark roots. Like white and black. Like I think that just looks so, so cool. And then I'm going to take this darker brown right here and just put that on the lower. And then I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. These are so easy to like work with. Oh my god. Tarte has been spoiling me lately, like legit spoiling me. Alright, I'm gonna go in with a 222 if I can find it. Here it is. And then I'm gonna take, all right, I'm gonna mix this color and this color a little tiny bit. And then that's just gonna go in the hollow. feeling it so far guys so by the time you guys are watching this I'm 17 but when I'm filming this I'm 16 because my birthday right now is in two days it's on Friday but for you guys it's two days ago because today's Sunday well I uploaded it on Sunday this means you're watching it on the day that I upload it but I'm 17 regardless but when I'm filming this I'm 16 okay I'm gonna go in with this pink shade and mix it with this peach shade so it's not so intensely pink and then we're gonna put this on the lid Oh, that's so pretty. Did you guys watch the Bieber roast? Oh my god, I was cracking up. It was so funny. And like, I'm normally not one to think that a lot of things are funny. Like, I'm, I have a really bad sense of humor. Um, it just isn't really there. But I was laughing so hard at the Bieber roast. It was so good. So funny. Uh, I'm gonna take these two now and then just put that on the 
outer third and blend that up into the crease. I am so tired. Alrighty, um, I am feeling it. I am digging it, I am feeling it, I am feeling myself. I'll be right back after I apply mascara because it's a boring process that needs a lot of concentration. I asked you guys on Twitter what you guys wanted me to address in this video, so I'm gonna go see what you guys are saying. I feel like I'm saying online school, but I already addressed that. So yes, I'm doing online school, which hopefully means more videos and better videos coming soon after this. Um, I also want to start doing a lot more fashion videos, so let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I think that that'd be really, really fun if I started doing more fashion videos because I'm definitely getting way more into fashion lately. And I mean, obviously I'm still going to do makeup. There's no way I would ever stray away from makeup. But I definitely do want to begin more makeup because it, it's something that I'm, I mean more fashion because it's definitely something that I've taken a huge interest in lately. Um, this is Hula Bronzer by Benefit, by the way. I just kind of go and I don't really say what I'm doing. I'm becoming a bad makeup guru, whatever. <laughs> Work this out. I'm really just talking because I can't open my blush at this point. Ah! Oh. This is the Tarte Adored Amazonian 12 Hour Clay Blush. And I'm just going to put this on. Where's my blush brush? I had a really good blush brush and I lost it. Oh, I just found it. Okay, this is by Sonia Cash. I used to like love this. If you guys were here since the beginning, you know that I used to love this. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. And then I'm just gonna keep the whole spring theme going on. So I thought this would be a good blush to use if you're in. England, people say blusher. I think that's so cute. I love accents. Um, speaking of London, Beautycon London was just announced and tickets just went on sale. So I really, 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 really want to go. Um, so if you guys want me there, be sure to tweet Beautycon and say that you guys want me there and tag me in it and then maybe I'll go. But also if you guys want me to go, just let me know in the comments down below because I would be any excuse to go to London, especially if it means meeting you guys. I am there in a heartbeat. Um, now I'm just gonna go in with a fan brush and take soft and gentle and highlight a lot. Probably should use a different highlighter with that blush because they're like two completely different spectrums of colors. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little lip color. This is the Tarte Empowered Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream. everything nice and springy and then I'm gonna go in with this one it's in the shade serene put that right in the middle take that down hope my hair didn't get too ruined so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see and let me know any feedback from any of the questions that I might have asked you guys in the video. I'll have all my social media links listed down below and be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there and don't forget to watch this video right here. So thanks again so much and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.